I'm delighted to be with you this afternoon to address the opening of this Rail Business Asia Conference 2013. Now more than ever, we're seeing a massive expansion of rail network in Asia, including in Malaysia. In a sense, it is a resurgence of rail, as rail not only helped build many nations in the fledgling years, but now there is a renewed interest in rail. Once considered a dying industry, railroads have made a strong comeback and are poised to become busier passageways in the years ahead. Since 1990, the Malaysian government has invested over 50 billion ringgit in rail-related related projects and we expect to spend an estimated 160 billion more towards 2020. The Malaysian and Singapore governments have also been in talks towards finalizing the KL Singapore High Speed Rail project, which is planned to cover a distance of about 330 kilometers. Should the project be realized as intended, the high speed rail would cut land traveling time between two countries to a mere 90 minutes. And this will certainly improve economic and people-to-people -people ties between the two nations. Malaysia is fortunate to have attracted one of the largest train maker, China South Railway Group, to their subsidiary, CSR Zhuzhou Electric Locomotive Company Limited, to build an ASEAN Rail Center in Batu Gajah, Perak. The center will help build our maintenance, repair, and overhaul capability for trains and can become the catalyst for growth of railway technology industries in Malaysia by providing technical knowledge and promoting the transfer of technology while generating jobs and business opportunities for the local community. These developments show that rail business is here to stay in Malaysia and will have a significant role, in fact a greater role, not only in creating employment, but also improving mobility for our citizens and introducing continuous improvements and innovations to make it more efficient, safe, convenient, and of course reliable mode of trans public transportation.